Is that your way of attention seeking parking there? I don't know where you went. Yeah, I parked that right down the back, like oh, hid in the car. Hid in the car. So this is Sam's attention seeking parking. You've managed to park right behind the display units and no one can actually see your car. <laughs> he thought it was really cool parking outside the front. <laughs> Turns out no one can see because he's parked there. What's up guys, welcome to Supercars of London. How are you all doing? Welcome to another daily video on the Supercars of London YouTube channel. How are you all doing? Did you have a good weekend or are you having a good weekend? Today sees the return of Idiots Go Car Shopping. I can't wait for this episode and I have no idea how it's gonna turn out. So we're gonna play it by ear and visit a few dealerships. Now, this isn't visiting high-end supercar Lamborghini dealerships like last time where no cars were bought whatsoever. Myself and Sam from Seen Through Glass. Sam's got the Alfa Romeo 4C, the mileage is creeping up. I'm gonna be taking delivery of my Lamborghini soon and I want to keep the mileage down, the running costs down, and overall, I don't particularly want to drive it every day and lose that special novelty of driving such an amazing car. So, we've decided that it is essential to have a daily car, a car that gets us from A to B, that we can use to put around town and get to and from work, film with, when we're not driving our said Alfa Romeo 4C or Lamborghini. There's a few things that I really want to tick in my checklist for this sort of car. One, it has to be super cheap to run. It also has to have an automatic or a paddle shift gear, but it doesn't need to be fast. The checklist is being cheap to run. It also needs to have the maintenance, the servicing, all of that sort of stuff, stress-free and included in the price. We are on the move, ladies and gentlemen, and I have no idea what the first stop is, but I'm sure Sam does. I'm following him, I have no idea where we're going, so we're just gonna see where we turn up to first on the hunt to find a reasonably priced car. <laughs> Here we go, here's some dealerships, and the first one is Audi. We've got Smart, Mercedes, Vauxhall. Oh, it's AMG one. I wanna go in there. Fiat's down there, that's where Sam wants to go. Get another Fiat 500. What else have we got? I can see a few more dealerships coming up. Hyundai, Kia, BMW. Oh, it's an i dealership. It's got the i3 and the i8. Ah, Sam has found Fiat and Alfa Romeo. I assume this is his first stop. Well, this is my awkward parking. Sam's parked over here and has immediately gone to the reasonably priced cars of Alfa Romeo. Why don't you pick this one up? Italian. Italian. Look, these are like Giuliettas. Giuliettas. Look, this one says Sportiva and it's got a little the Quadro Forligio thingy. It's quite a nice spec with the titanium wheels. Yeah, it's quite sick, isn't it? And so I was saying that you're looking for like an electric car, or that's an yeah, option. Yeah, basically it's an option. Yeah, yeah, the, 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 this began with potentially a Twizy. I actually really want a Twizy. But I was then like, if I'm gonna spend the money on a Twizy, what could I actually get as a real car? <laughs> <laughs> Not that Twizy aren't real. So and immediately you come to an Alfa Romeo yeah, dealership. Of course. Classic yeah. Sam. Look at the new Fiat 500 cover. So you've got the classic old school Fiat 500. And they're trying to get a car out. And then you've got the new one. First stop is taking longer than I thought. Sam has lured in a sales guy. And, uh, well, I was just having a chat. I thought we'd be here for five minutes and go to all of these dealers for five minutes, but Alfa Romeo, he's got, his heart pumps for Alfa Romeo. Where to now? Audi or AMG? AMG first. AMG first. A smart car for you, sir? Oh, I'm not that do you know what the smart cars are? Amazing. Yeah, 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 I do. I think I had this, no, 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 these are both four door. These are both four door though. Oh, I had yeah, the two no. door. Yeah, I don't know. You said it was, well, I never been in the drive on the motor. The interior is so cool though. Did you have a, these are crap specs in there. Yeah. Did you have an auto or man? Auto? I'm now talking Sam into the smart car. 
We think it. It's amazing. It is amazing. Everything to do with the smart car is amazing. And look, edition one, you get the really cool wheels. Imagine having two. Sports pedal and brushed stainless steel. That purple A one's calling to us. Yeah, I know. Purple A one is still reaching out to us. Let's go and find this edition one smart car. I tell you what, I don't think it's out any of the backs. They're all old. Out that way. Let's go that way. Yeah. We found a smart badge. The what? The four ones, yeah. Yeah. We're now looking for the edition one two door, two seater smart car. So you can stealth it out and go brab us. Oh yeah. It's got orange interior, that's worrying. <laughs> oh yes. Can't beat that. I mean that's cool. It is cool, but the Obviously not the colour. I mean that's my demo. Um, which I'll probably change and get another edition one. What do you make of the smart? I'm actually quite excited. <laughs> you know it's so awful, I'm quite it's embarrassed. Such a like, cool don't car. put this in your vlogs, it's so embarrassing that I might potentially buy a smart car. <laughs> now let's go and have a look at a purple A1. Oh no, there's an what RS6. The Why is that 59 grand? Is that wrong? That sounds wrong. Oh, someone's going out in the RS3. Nice. Or oh, they just come back. RS7. With oh, RS6 must have done. Why is miles. that? 60 grand. Yeah, RS5, RS3. Oh, look at this RS3 with red wheels. Uh, that's the what do they call that? They call that like an This is a really. Maybe I'm wrong. I think you're wrong. Edition something. And it was seven. There goes the RS3 starting up. Look at that. I like the S1. S1 is S1's cool. cool. But no, like they're this. not good on fuel. I don't like it's four doors. And it's manual. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, we've just and we've it's too high. <laughs> and yellow. <laughs> so we've just teared apart the I S1. That, no. What? Oh yeah. Don't like that. No? It's not as nice as a smart car. Oh what? <laughs> So we've done Alfa Romeo. Sam spent quite a lot of time in Alfa Romeo. I think that's his second home basically because he is in love with his 4C so much. Then we went to Mercedes. Then we went to Audi. We looked at Smart Car. I personally think the Smart Car for Sam is the best option. I think it's the coolest car. Um, and overall is a lot of fun and it matches his car. He will have the smallest garage ever. <laughs> that did sound good. So he'd have an Alfa Romeo 4C, which is a tiny little sports car, and then he would have a smart car, which is a tiny little city car. I think that is perfect. Overall, I quite like the Audi A1s. I think they're a really cool looking car. Um, but smart car as well, very, very cool. So we're moving ourselves up from Alfa Romeo to Mercedes and Audi. So we're, we're slowly getting away from the idiots go, car, idiots go reasonably priced car shopping. Now, we're en route to the last and final dealership, which is nowhere near reasonably priced cars. We are headed to Porsche Surrey. I've never ever set myself, set foot in a Porsche dealership. It is Porsche. Not so reasonably priced cars, but we thought that we should end the vlog something a little bit more exciting than just Alfa Romeos and smart cars. I've never known anyone to do the most attention-seeking parking as that. Is that your way of attention-seeking parking there? I don't know where you went. Yeah, I parked that right down the back, like, oh, right, hid, in the, car. hid in the car. Because you didn't bring the right car with you. Yeah. <laughs> it's got a GT4 pack. GT4 pack? Plaque. Plaque. It says GT4. No. GT4. Oh yeah. What's that about? Mis misbranded, isn't it? I can't really get that. I don't get it. I'd buy it just for the plaque there. <laughs> to, to pull it out. Yeah. And then sell it online as a GT4. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So our uh, idiots go reasonably priced car shopping has failed. Yes, you, you're now sitting in a Porsche. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> What's wrong with you? You went from an Alfa Romeo Giulietta to a Cayman <laughs> GTS. <laughs> Three little pots of Coke. I just feel more comfortable. I feel yeah. more at home. And that's a horrible thing to say. It is a horrible thing yeah, to say. Yeah, it's yeah, got yeah, brown yeah. roof. Is it brown or black? I think it's black. black. Brown? You sure? Oh, I think it's, it's black. It's black. Black in... I don't know, it's confusing. And that is... It's not a Turbo S because it's got red brake calipers. Oh, this is nice. I quite like that. Sorry. Turbo S. I love the wheels on the Turbo S. Yeah, I agree. They're the nicest thing. Yeah. Look at that. What is that? K and GTS. It's master on spec. Oh, that is nice. Should we ask where it is? Yeah. 918. Where, where is your 918, by the way? We've come here to see it. <laughs> we've come here to buy tools. <laughs> Let's get it again. This camera set up. So we've spotted a brand new GT3 RS <laughs> in the servicing. So we're going to go and try and um, get, get it on camera because it looks awesome. The spoiler's massive. My horse. So that is it. We have ended our idiots go reasonably priced car shopping at Porsche in Guildford. I mean, that is just very, very typical of a Saturday afternoon. I'm now waiting for Sam to turn around in his 4C that you might be able to see right there. And that is the end of the video. I hope you have enjoyed this and make sure that you continue to follow the journey. Subscribe to Supercars of London if you haven't already for more of this everyday car stuff. Now that the second supercar is coming, it's becoming a lot more apparent that I do need a more daily vehicle. So it's safe to say that this has been a relatively successful trip. Sam has worked out that he really likes the smart car, but also the Renault Twizy is still up there as cars that he really wants to test out. And I really like the Audi A1, but also the smart car. So there's some food for thought, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I look forward to seeing you tomorrow for another Supercars of London daily vlog and um, I think it's going to be a good one actually and then maybe two or three videos time there could be a Lamborghini collection video coming so I will see you guys very very soon cheers for watching well oh, thanks for watching thanks for watching cheers <laughs> the car. oh and he's hit another barrier it's dodging carts of Formula One come on oh. Oh. try to do a center there and